All right, we're on our way to Cabela's, and uh, I got uh, Jeff. Where are you at? I'm in here somewhere. Oh, I can't see it. I'm here, too big here. for your rear view. Here it is. <laughs> there it is. See your head back there. <laughs> I'm back On here. our way to Cabela's, and uh, there's another guy supposed to be with us. And... One quarter of a mile. Hey, weapons how are you? Education. Weapons education. Hey guys, <laughs> ladies, how are you? <laughs> Going to Cabela's, finally. So now, now it's out. Now Everybody it's knows out. it's weapons education, the Armory Channel, and the Cutlery Lover. We're, we're going to combine and uh, we're going to have a merchant website. Everyone knows we've been talking Continue about it. Straight. Let All me, let me part. shut up Lucy Lick Lick. Wait a minute. <laughs> Usually I shut her up. Do you want to uh, talk about your specialties coming out there? Jeff, what do you got yeah, going Jeff. on? Oh, yeah, what do you got going on? We're going to have a little uh, conference call soon with a guy over at Zippo. And uh, I'm going to have my own line of Zippo, li Zippo lighters, which is going to be pretty cool. Limited edition, right? Yeah. How this many are you going to put gonna out? It's going to be really nice. Uh, maybe 1,500. First we'll see how many line. designs we could do, but it's going to be awesome. First time Zippo's ever done that for anybody ever in the history of their company. It's, it's pretty big. It's really exciting. And also, if we can, we're going to see if I can get my own hot sauce line. Yeah, but all right. It, but it's got to be good stuff. So we're working on it. We'll see what happens. Okay. But uh, it's just really exciting going to Cabela's. These guys are might get some stuff over there. You've got four different corporate sponsorships. That's, That's big. That's exciting. That's really big. And you're going to change your channel a little bit? What's yeah, yeah. I'm going to put a, a banner up. Uh, people have been asking me to put a banner up for a while now. So finally get to put something together. And uh, Got a logo coming? It's going to be exciting. Yeah, actually, it's really exciting. We'll see that too. But, uh, it's all good news, right? Yeah, it's awesome. It's all good and news. Cabela, this is actually the first time I've ever been to Cabela's, so I'm pretty excited. I've never been there before. So I'm very excited. I'm, I've been there many times. I can tell. And the, <laughs> the excitement never changes. No, it's it's really cool. The whole the whole thing's gonna be awesome. We got so much so much stuff planned for you guys. It's not even funny. You wait and see. You're up at six in the morning making a video. I understand. Yeah, I didn't mean to. We were sharing. <laughs> He's on the other side of the other room with me. I didn't want to wake him up, so I tried to be quiet. But yeah, I got a brand new camera, so the quality is getting through the roof now. You guys are going to see everything. I have a just... custom holster for your camera being designed, <laughs> so you can just keep it on your shoulder. <laughs> you can just pull it out. <laughs> yep. No, it, it's it's sweet. I got so much stuff going on. It's awesome. You guys are going to love it. It's it's really really cool. All right, sounds good. So uh, and uh, can I ask, can I ask you a question? Sure. How do you feel about fat women? Fat women? Like, yeah, I'm not talking about chubby women. I'm talking about like real fat women. Like, mm. when you look at her and she looks like 600 pounds of baloney. Like, women, a woman that that size. What if she was like a wonderful, wonderful person? Well, do that. The bigger the, big the better. Honey. It makes me <laughs> look better. If she eats a lot of hot sauce. Yeah, what if she eats a lot of hot oh, sauce? Most, most likely, someone that big likes hot sauce. So, that's okay. usually good. More cushion for the pushing. I, I, try, I, no, I, I, did, I did give that a try one time when I was drunk uh -huh. and uh, my friend said it looked like it looked like I was laying under a Buick <laughs> <laughs> so anyway we're on our way to Cabela's and hopefully we'll have some fun we're gonna look at some awesome guns and we're gonna go to the gun library which is a real high-end uh, like Lamborghini guns you know what I mean like how do you say that Exotic. It's exotic. exotic yeah. Ed Brown, Wilson Combat, Nighthawk Custom, all that stuff. Kimber. Kimber. Yup. Got a We're special, special shop. Kimber. Alright guys, we'll all see right. you soon. You gonna get a new car, Pete? Yes. <laughs> what is it gonna be? It's gonna be some good a gas good good a gas economy car. <laughs> I'm starting to talk Italian. Yeah, it's, it's a good a gas. <laughs> yeah, this thing right in front of me here. You need something roomy. Yeah, something roomy like this. What do you got here? Something there. You, you get a fucking hard on in that thing, you'll bust the windows out. Look at that fucking thing, man. Well, it's a smart car. Yeah, it's real smart. So you get into a head-on collision. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, I, I can see my, uh, I can see my logo on that car. The Armory Channel fucking clown circus car. Yeah, how you gonna I can see, see out the all back of us getting out of it? Yeah. <laughs> Three of us in there would get four flat tires. You got Jeff's head in the back. You could stick a NRA yeah. sticker in the front, but you won't be able to see anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty Thanks. tall, dude. I'm only Jeff, stay four. down there, man. I'm going to come over. <laughs> now, we're at Cabela's. Just arrived. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Here with Pete. There he is, Cabela's in HD. Just kind of hanging out. We're going in. 
How long did it take to get here? Uh, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't too bad. How long could we have got here if we went the right way? What was it, like a week? Yeah, a week about and a week. Half? We're at Cabela's now. We look like the freaking media. <laughs> All we need is a guy with lights and shit behind us. There's only gang of the three guys just snubbing each other. With... <laughs> we all got the same friggin' camera. We're tourists. <laughs> all right, that's enough of that. All right, that's enough. <laughs> I'll see you guys. All right, look at these, man. Check that Ed Brown out there. Yeah, we're, we're in the 45 bullet. That's his gun right there. We're in the gun library. This yeah, is... it's an Ed Brown with a bobtail. 45 ACP. Commander size. Awesome. What do we got in the back there? A night hall. That's a night. In the back we've got a Wilson con combat, isn't it? I know uh, those scripts are. The one next to it's a Wilson. That's a Wilson. Hello, Mr. Wilson. 2700. Yeah. And then I can read it better. It's another two tone Wilson. OD green. And then next to that is a night hall custom go. bobtail. That is read gorgeous. That. Stop saying gorgeous, you're gay. It's sweet looking. Look at this Ed Brown again. Lane Hall's That's pretty yeah. sweet, isn't it? That's you, buddy. That Ed Brown is nice. That's you. That is beautiful. That's a nice carry. Mm -hmm. The fish scales on the front strap. Look at that. Let's see if I can get a close up of that. Look at that fish scales on there. That's sweet. A lot of machine work. That's why they're expensive. They put a lot of time in their pistols. It's all hand fitted. What's this Kimber over here? That's pretty nice too. That's the carry melt frame. I like that one too. The yeah. Ultra Elite. Yeah, the Kimber Ultra Elite. It's a carry melt frame. Oh, look at the SIG to the right. Yep, it's P226 Elite. No, it's P220. not the Elite. Yeah. Oh, it's a P220, okay. It's nice. Guys. This SIG is nice too for me. Let me bend it over. <laughs> These guys are really into guns. Yeah. I, I bend over for guns. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get a, nice, uh, a bumper sticker that says that. Uh, I bend over for guns. Yeah. That'll sell. Look at this. Look at this special block here. I like this little snow nose right here. Some kind of. Uh, oh, it's like kind of Cabela's on it. I don't know if I'd want that. It has Cabela's insignia on it. See it? Oh, yeah. Very cool. I thought it was like an anniversary gun or something. Hmm. Got some pretty revolvers. Look at the 357 here. Yeah, it's all wonderful. There's a 41 Magnum. Smith and Wesson. Some kind of commemorative thing here. Damn, that's big. 1400 bucks, 44 Magnum. That's pretty. Yeah, looks like my uncle. He's a molester. <laughs> Look at Just this kidding. No molester. 44 wife, Magnum over here. Not blood related anyway. It's 5600 for this 44. Yeah. Somewhere in the middle. 5600? Yeah. 5500? That's because of all that, all that carving, engraving. Some amazing looking stuff. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. That one's 30, that's 4000 dollars, that little one there. Is that 38? Yep. 38 special for 4000. Well, it's special, alright. <laughs> Better be special for 4 grand. Yeah. I this guy in here. It's a 38. Jeff, it smells good. What are you wearing? Hey? Oh. Uh, sexy men clothes. Oh, I was only kidding, man. Oh, I know. You don't smell anyway. I know. <laughs> what are these? These are cigs. Really? Do we have any in the back? LC9, I think we do. Yeah, it's not it's still 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 it's still
couple days ago. Thank you, and enjoy your day at Cabello. These are like a jewel, a beautiful gun. Yeah, there it is, we're in the clock. Clock, clock. So I thought the record was still there's that RTF. I thought they weren't going to make it anymore. I got to say, yeah. I like the flat, um, black. Yeah, don't the flat slides look better? But the I don't like the, uh, the scalloping serrations on the, uh, oh, on the RTF. Yeah, I don't like those. They work well, but that's just me. No, I know they're functional. Yeah, yeah. They grab your skin right here. That, that what she said. Yeah, that's what she said. Let's find out about that. Nice blocks. Yeah, they're, they're putting that flat finish on their Gen 3s too. You notice that? Yeah. See it? Here's a Gen 3 and it's a flat finish. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can't have freaking light like guns usually, but that XD looks awesome with the stainless. Yeah. Probably the two. Yeah. I'm looking to see the round. It's a little high quality. Yeah. The other thing you might want to consider there, though, is sure you want multi-gun color you want. I already wrote up a long gun, but you really yeah. want it to look like a toy. Oh, okay. Yeah. I gotta pull that paper. Yeah. We just have to have yeah. work. Even without kids, somebody might think it's fake. Yeah. Give me which gun. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. A lot of blocks. Up here, all the blocks are on top shelf. Sure. Yeah, there's only one with that tinnifer shiny finish. Is that one? All the other ones are dull. That's good. They're switching over. Yeah, I mean, I like it. Uh, uh, we'll see what we'll with this glass. Uh, cut out. Very nice. Okay, ready? Yeah, I'm on my own. What are we looking at, Pete? It's like a Ruger Mark III with a uh, scope rail system on it, and then it has a. Uh, He likes that one. I like it. It's nice looking. Now, one intended purpose is to seal carry. Is that a four inch barrel? Well, I just zoomed in way too quick. I get nervous when I see stuff I like. I lose control. <laughs> you know? That's why the closer we got to Cabela's, I was getting lost. 369. What's that? That's why the closer we got to Cabela's, I was getting lost. I was getting really excited. Between that and all the McDonald's we were doing. We made it. Started sweating a little bit. We gotta hit the knife section soon so Jeff can give us a rundown. That is a pretty pretty 22 there right there. That is really pretty. It's got the 1911 grip angle on it. You get 1911 grips on it too. So you can put 1911 grips on it. Yeah, special. It's got a polymer frame. Fancy word for plastic. It's pretty though. And the guys are probably like, dude, you already got one, but it don't look like that. It's got that flashlight rail on it too, and I need to check that out. Wow, that's like a little hitman gun. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's set up for a competition, yeah. so a lot of people shoot those up. Yeah. It's sweet looking, I'm digging it. Anything else down there, Joe? They're all cowboy guns down there. Other buck marks on the second show. I actually like this Smith & Wesson 22. I think that'd be a lot of yeah, fun to shoot. Sweet. Cheap, cheap mm -hmm. to shoot. Alright, I'm rolling, Pete. What are you doing? Picking up a Camber Pro Rapture. Alright, congratulations. Let's take a look at it. You nervous, Pete? Nervous. <laughs> you seem nervous. I am. Why are you nervous? I don't know. You're on your channel now. Why are you nervous? So, <laughs> nice. That's sweet. Beautiful grips. It's got a ambidextrous thumb safeties on it and extended. Now serving customer number 85. Thank you. Are we in a deli section? I don't know. I was going to order a pound of provolone, but he said he didn't have any. <laughs> Lowered and flared ejection for it. Scalloped. Now oh, it's a beautiful machine work. This thing's beautiful. How's the slide? Thank you. Like glass. Let's see. Like glass. Feels good. I have to put about 500 to it. That's Break a trigger it pull. Good. Trigger pull's awesome. Night sights. Night sights. 
I don't know if they're what kind they are. They might be Novax or Piney. I don't know what that is. How do you like the grips? The grips are beautiful. Nice four inch. Cool. Yeah, that might be the first uh, 1911. You don't change the grips at all. Full barrel. No, nice I'm not touching these grips. No, it's beautiful. No, it? I usually always change my grips. Is there anything else you need, sir? I think that's it. <laughs> Armor channel. And more likely the patients in the PD systems to have a cell phone on it today. Okay. Uh, this is yeah, gun heaven. Oh, yeah. Taking Pete's camera for a ride. This is time of weapons education, of course. Buying some guns today. Yep. Thanks, man. You have the Camilla's visa card. Yes, it's all back okay. Yep. Congratulations, Pete. For all the subscribers. Wait, recognize my start over. Face. Just in case. Go ahead. Start right over. here. Put your glasses on, Pete. Put my glasses on? They look cool. <laughs> they look you look like a douche wearing them inside, though. Yeah, I look like a douche wearing them inside. Okay. See, Honestly, I like that. All right, forget I'm also a big it's Flyers like, fan, which is another reason uh, why. Flyers are awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm rooting for Boston right now. Yeah. yeah. All right. Are you rolling? You're ready to go. Yep, whenever you're ready. It's rolling. I'll, I'll lay it out the beginning. <laughs> go ahead. Here with Austin is a subscriber. He recognized us. He loves our channel. Awesome. Best what channel you on YouTube. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Love channel. the 1911 videos. You either hate me or love me, so there we go. Well, the best. Thanks. Absolutely. Go Flyers. Go Flyers. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Man. It's, it's now, awesome. Uh, gun guys just had their glory, so now looking at some knives. Uh, the box section over here. Uh, tell our friends all about the knives. Let's, what do you like the best here? Uh, I don't know. I just got into it over here. Buck Alpha series is pretty nice. Alpha folders. Yeah. Okay, that door's nice. They're a little you know what I price. You know what Looking around, I think about it's okay. It's a, it's a little bit overpriced for some things, but uh, it's on top. Yeah, Cabela's is hit and miss with prices. It's not as competitive, but to go into a store for knives, unfortunately, you can't meet the same prices you can online. Yeah. They don't have, you know, different kinds of costs. Just go to the Army Express outlet, you'll get a good deal. Yeah, that's where you go. <laughs> kind of nice stuff though. Actually, this is swing, just exciting. Swing down that way on the wall over there. They got some first shots hanging up. And Let's walk around this case here yeah. and see what's going on. You're the ninth master. Puppy oh. lover. I try. What's in here? Nice Velasca. Makes some pretty cool stuff. Uh, never really had uh, any of their blades. I had a fixed blade once in there. It's, it's nice. A good edge retention. Puma. Actually, I don't know what nice kits over there on the side. Let's see if I squeeze in here. Oh, the Benchmade case. Oh, well, this is exciting. Let me stop. What are you doing, Pete? Are you eating? What do you got there? Fat, fat free? Fat free fries. And this cheeseburger it burns fat. Take the bun off. Let me see what you got there. Oh, that's good. All right. All right. It goes in the whole burger. It's a kit. I'll have an elk burger. Would you like American slash cheddar or provolone? Cheddar. Mm. Lettuce, tomato, onion. Lettuce, tomato only. How's the taste? It's good. I got a little. High, I got a little lightheaded. I thought I was going down for the count. <laughs> he almost died before he got his gun. Tom saved me with a cheeseburger. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> what are you gonna get? I feel the presence a presence of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> She's asking you if you want fries. Hold on, what do you got going on there, Pete? I feel a little better now. I almost passed out because when I seen that Kimber, I almost had a heart attack. Literally. <laughs> he really did almost pass excited. out. I almost passed out. He turned white. So I said, maybe I need something to eat to settle my nerves. And I, I got this, this hamburger. <laughs> and, you know, we're up here in the boondocks and they have elk and buffalo. And I said, I don't want an elk. I don't want a buffalo. I don't want an ostrich. I just want regular beef. And this tastes like possum butt. It's got a really weird aftertaste. They gave you the wrong yeah, I, I never had meat like this. This is very strange. Uh, I need a Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> well, you feeling better though? Yeah, I'm feeling better. A little shaky, but I'm alright. Oh, we'll get back to that. Was yeah. uh, well, of course, Tom has fantastic taste in firearms. Everything he owns is top notch. And uh, he, he went, he outdid himself this time. Got an Ed Brown. Commander size, four inch barrel, bobtail, 1911, 45 ACP. It's, it's so pretty. The thing feels like it's on glass when you pull the slide back. Let's take a look at the other side. Look at them scales. You'll go to Weapons Education and see a lot of reviews on this. Yeah, this is. Look at the Ed Brown. There's the Ed Brown. 
Beautiful, beautiful 1911. Pure precision, all handmade. Has a slide look to you. The slide is so tight, you can see the slide is notched around them guide rails. It is no gaps whatsoever. Night sights, it's beautiful gun time. Thanks. Look at them scaling. Thanks to Ed Brown for making it. That's, that's the same levels of Wilson Combat, bro. 2600. It's, it's on the same shelf. Yep, 2600, beautiful. Got a good picture of it right there. Worth every penny, too. Every penny. When you come to Florida, we'll shoot it together. Congratulations, dude. I'm glad to see you got a Ned Brown. Really Congratulations good. for yourself. You got yourself a Kimba Ultra Raptor 2. Yep. Is it a 2? What you got? Ultra it's Raptor 2? Ultra Pro. That's what you got. Rap I forget. I'm going to do a tabletop review. Big shopping that, spree today. Man, you ain't kidding. This is the Cobra Carry, it's called. Good deal. All right. Thank you. All right.